mentioned that you were Cherokee, and you know that's and, that's, and Portuguese and Portuguese yeah, as well. That's my grandmother, the full blooded uh, Cherokee from the Indian Reservations of Missouri. My grand, my grandfather, full blooded Portuguese from Portugal. They can even speak English. They created a language where they could communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, you can look at my my skin color mm -hmm. and see the native blood. Absolutely. You know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This thing of ours, oh, this thing of ours. Your story has altered and shifted, you know, culture. You know, I mean, everything from being woke, red pill, blue pill. So, in today's climate, a lot, lot, a lot of people are starting to identify with their indigenous ancestry. So I know for people to hear that you identify with your Cherokee ancestry, as well as your Portuguese, I think that's very encouraging. I'm uh, Cherokee and Portuguese. Okay, Cherokee. And, uh, that's my bloodlines on both my mother and my father's side. Okay. Uh, so this earth, America, is my native blood. And okay. So I'm not leaving yet. Okay. Uh, you know, having native blood, we are entwined with spirit, earth. Yes. You know, the physical world. You know, I think you know that. Absolutely. And um. I'm from New York City. Okay. Uh, I'm the Oracle. I put myself in my work. Are there any particular aspects of the culture that influence you in this particular story? Well, I want to tell people, you didn't come from Africa unless you were born there. Mm -hmm. Africa is a, it's a, it's a white man's name, just like Kuti Kente and Toby and Boots. You know, if you're kidnapped, you, they don't kidnap us. I want you to use your name because you're going to be found by your people. Mm -hmm. So they will change your name and change how you look. That's what kidnapping is about. But if you use your real name, you you see what I'm saying? They're going to find you. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is with the matrix and stuff, that people need to know that we were born here in America and this is our home. Mm-hmm. And what I'm saying is when the conquistadors came over here from Spain, they started mixing with the natives. Because the, the skin has nothing to do with it. It's the blood. Okay. It's all about the blood. It has nothing to do with the skin. The skin is nothing but a cover. Absolutely. It doesn't dictate to you this. White people with, with darker skin. Mm -hmm. And there are black people with white skin and blue eyes and silky blonde hair. Yeah, no, we're, and, we're, and we're on the exact African. same page. We're on the exact same yeah, page. It's true. Mm -hmm. Your skin doesn't determine who you are. God told us it was the blood. Mm -hmm. The blood told who we are. Absolutely. It determines who and what you are. Absolutely. If you tell me your blood, I can tell you who you are. But Absolutely. to go by the skin, there was many tribes that had uh, different color of skins. Mm -hmm. They knew that skin had nothing to do with who you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you. Um, I'm glad you expressed that the way you did. I'm, I'm glad you had to, you know, that's very encouraging. I'm going to let people take it for how they take it. You know I mean? I'm not going to try and reinterpret what you said. I think what you said was elegant and beautiful and I'll leave it that. You know, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. This thing of ours, oh, this thing of ours. A fraternity of...